everyone so today I wanted to do a tutorial on a look that Samantha Sherman had done and I'll link it below and she did it for one of her subscribers that lives in England so she used all um, UK products so what I did is I tried to take the same look by using products you can get in America so I'm sorry my camera's kind of crooked I'm having issues with it um, but it's not exactly the same, it's as close as I could get with what I had. Um, so, yeah, I'll do kind of more of a close-up. And I'll link her, um, tutorial down below. So if you want to see that, then, yeah. So, thanks for watching! So the first thing I'm doing is taking, um this trio by Wet n Wild called Walking on Eggshells and I'm taking the very bottom color and it's the one that says eyelid so I'm just taking a flat brush just a regular flat brush and I'm gonna put that all over my lid not taking it quite all the way to the end. And next, I'm gonna use a part of the same trio, um, this top color is my highlight color. And it has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much shimmer. At least I didn't think so. So, just put that up there. And I like to put it in my um, inner eye duct area, whatever that's called. The next color I'm taking um, is by MAC and it is limited edition and that's because I was trying to find, um, Sam had used uh, like a, a pigment type thing that um, was iridescent or like a duochrome of white and mint green and this one you probably won't be able to tell white with um, kind of a blue duochrome so it's not exact but that's okay so I'm gonna put that on my outer corner and this color um, personally I don't think it's super pigmented you kind of have to get a lot on your brush to make it show up and I'm just putting it all in the outer half and up into the crease so so it makes a little bit of a difference but it's not a superly pigmented color um, I can't remember if I said but it is limited edition so but you can find you know something else okay so the next color I'm taking is from another wet n wild trio and it's called I dream of greeny and I'm taking this top brow bone color and it's kind of like a light mint green I'm taking just a fluffy brush this one's by bare essentials it's actually a really good brush and I'm gonna work that into the crease And then what I also like to do is just dip my brush into the second color and then back into the first color. So there's just, I dipped it in there and they're very pigmented and you might even, like I'm just going to tap it off a little bit and then put it back in the light color. So you kind of get that sort of a color and work that into the crease until you like the color pigment and then I'm taking a shader brush and I'm pretty much doing the same thing taking that lighter color and um, putting it underneath my eye and like I said they're super pigmented I don't know if you can see so what I do is just kind of smudge it out so it's not like you know superly um, superly green under your eye and then I'll take just a little bit and make the outer V with the same green color. And then I just like to go back in and blend it and make sure it's even with your other eye because apparently mine is not. I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting. So that's it for... Um, your eyes and I'm gonna put mascara on and then I'll be back for the rest of the face okay so that's it for the eyes and then on the cheeks 
what I am going to do is, I have a huge pile of stuff here, is Sam did kind of a corally color, and I don't have um, the same blush that she used. I have a different one. Um, but first, I like to put um, like a cream color base down. So I'm using Hush by MAC, which is, um, I don't know, it's kind of a hard color to describe. Um, it's kind of peachy. Yeah, I guess it's a little peachy. But it just will kind of give um, your skin like a glowy look. And I like them to me. They don't feel too greasy, so that's what I like about them. Okay, and then for my blush, I am going to use um, Candied Coral by e.l.f., which is a really pretty um, coral color. And my table is such a mess. I'm having a hard time reaching everything. So... I just smile and put them on. And I didn't use bronzer or anything today. Um, I honestly, I just kind of forgot until just now. I was like, oopsies, I did not use any bronzer. So I just won't look very tan today. Um, I like the e.l.f. blushes for, I think this was a dollar. So at the most, three dollars. So I think for that... Um, it's pretty good, but I feel like they're not, it's not super pigmented, at least on my skin tone. Um, so I kind of have to use a lot to achieve the look I like. And after that, for a highlight, um, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl, which looks like this. And I'm just going to use my finger and kind of... Just pat that along the highest point of your cheekbone. I like to put some down the middle of my nose. But not so much that I look like an oil pan. Okay, I'm going to use a Revlon color in Petal. Which is a really pretty, um, it's a soft pink color with a little bit of like coral if it's just my lighting but it kind of almost has a gold sheen and then on top of that um, I'm going to take the Revlon uh, lip gloss in peony the color burst ones and these are okay to me they kind of smell weird so I like lip glosses to smell yummy, and these ones kind of don't smell yummy, so that kind of sucks. Oh, and if you haven't already, um, subscribe if you want to keep up with, you know, what I do. And I also have a vlog channel, um, Martina's Daily Life, and I'll put the link down below, so if you're curious, you can see that and subscribe to that as well. So, thank you. Bye.